All right, lady of this week's INA is with Sun Tzu. Sun Tzu. It's so. a Californian company, but I, originally, of course, I thought it was, um, you know, Japanese, perhaps. But um, but actually, they I think they just used the Sun Tzu like art of war yeah. name to their name, which is cool. Um, but they're a company, and they make all sorts of electronic components. In fact, I just bought some uh, crystals from them. Uh, they're the only company that had 32 kilohertz crystals in stock. Yeah. Um, but this week, uh, we're focusing on something I saw on digikey.com slash new, oh, wow. which is... I just noticed something. Their packaging says... You can't... Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's part of the secret? Okay. Well, I just noticed it. Okay. Hey, buckle up, folks. This is going to be a great INMPI brought to you by Digikey. No, this is going to be good because if I notice something... You're ruining it. Not okay. Gonna, no, you're not no one has any idea what I was looking at. Okay. So they're, they make... Uh, they or you know they make foot pedal switches. Um, so this is a rendering of a foot pedal switch. So these are um, you know famously used in um, you know guitar pedal effect pedals, um, and this is their uh, you know you know they have a couple different styles, and you can see um, the three styles. There's like different depths of the panel mounting, and they're slightly different like tops. Like one's kind of flatter, and one is kind of rounder. Um, and these are just really, really, really durable panel mount switches. And they're, they're meant for like 100,000 actuations, which is a lot higher than um, a lot of switches. And considering the, like, the abuse that they take, because they are like, you know, they're called stomp boxes. You, you stomp on them with your feet. Um, you can see on the right is, a, uh, is an image of a stomp box. Um, you know, sometimes you have knobs and stuff, but these are used by uh, guitarists. And, you know, their hands are busy. They are, they're playing guitar. And so they can't reach down and, and press a button. You know, sometimes the guitar itself have knobs and stuff, but if you want an external um, filter on it, um, use a distortion pedal or effects pedal or, or a stomp pedal or whatever, stomp box, whatever you want to call it. And um, so these buttons, um, they're durable um, and they will put up a lot of abuse. Compare that with, um, you know, these classic tactile switches. They're, they're basically the same thing, but these little tactile switches have you know, very little, uh, you know, force activation required, maybe a hundred uh, uh, gram force. And, um, you know, they're, they're good for like, you know, maybe 50,000 or 10, 10,000, 50,000 activations, but they're definitely not going to be durable. I mean, even an arcade switch, um, you wouldn't want to um, press that with your foot. You know, you would, you would smash the plastic. So you need something metal. Um, and you need something that um, has like a nub that sticks out so your foot can feel it because usually, again, uh, you're wearing shoes, right? So you want something that you can feel that there's a point through your feet because you don't have a lot of sensory feedback through shoes. Um, you know, another, you know, I was thinking like what other times would you use foot activation? Um, so sewing machines, you know, if you've ever used a sewing machine, you know that there are, um, you know, pedals like this one. This is a potentiometer style pedal. Um, that you use your foot with and you can, you know, tilt it. You can't do, you know, you know, some people can do very fine motor control with their feet, but most people, again, they're wearing shoes. So you can do kind of linear motion or pressing. Um, but, uh, you know, a couple of the things that were mentioned is, is robotics, um, uh, uh, hospital and medical equipment. Um, sometimes people, you know, they want to turn something on or off or they want to lift or lower a bed. Um, they use foot switches. Um, of course, you know, sewing machines, tattooing machines, apparently, which I was like, oh, obviously, you know, if you're tattooing, you want to control whether it's on or off, but your hands are holding skin in the, in the, um, the tattoo gun. And so you would use a, a foot pedal for that as well. So it's even though these are, you know, they're called guitar pedal um, switches, they're not uh, necessarily just for guitar pedals. And there's a lot of different options in stock. There's ones that are like, pan, you know, they're all panel mount. Some have solder lugs, some are PC mount. Um, the one that I picked out that I'll show you has a, um, a JST XH connector, actually, which is pretty cool. Um, and uh, did you know that there's actually a whole section on DigiKey called Guitar Parts and Accessories? There is, and there's like 800 parts in it. Go check it out. Um, you know, the, the catalog is so large. You know, I'm used to like oscillators and tactile switches, but um, these are actually under guitar parts. It's, it's a different area than um, switches or, or 
uh, tactile switches or buttons or whatnot. They're you know they're considered a a different type of uh, user interface. So. Um, I can show it on the overhead before yeah. we go to... Yeah, well, let me just say where it's available. It's available on DigiKey. And, and there's lots of stuff. Yeah, and, uh, you know, worth noting, we've been doing this segment uh, with partnership with DigiKey for a while. It's really useful. I, I, I like to think that we're helping people find all the, you know, in the industry is Yeah, like, you MPI. don't think, like, what if you had a foot control button, but it's like, yeah. you know, sometimes you have to look at, again, because it's like these are used for guitar pedals, but they're used for, like, tattooing machines. The, whoever did the tattoo machine, they were probably like, oh, should I put the button on mm -hmm. the tattoo gun? Maybe it's actually like, no, it turned out it right, was a, a better idea to, to have a foot switch. So um, this version, I like that it comes with this little JSTXH because it means it's user replaceable. Nice. Um, it's polarized. And um, yeah, it's got you know the two, two panel mount um, it's lugs, sturdy. very thick uh, panel mounting area. Um, and I like that it's like you can panel mount between the two, so it's like it can be offset. And then, you know, this has, you know, maybe it's 500 gram force, maybe a little bit more. Um, and it's on the bottom, it says, can do up to uh, six amps, 125 volts. It's got the Sunsu logo. And um, it is a marketplace product. Can you go back one just to show? So this is uh, the first time we've uh, highlighted something um, oh, can you go back one more because it's maybe more readable. Um, this is the first time we've highlighted something that's a marketplace product, which means it's not shipped from DigiKey. It's actually shipped from Sunsu, and they are in America. Um, so you'll get it pretty fast. It's just, uh, you know, get it in like three days instead of overnight. And it came with this really cool packaging, yeah. Sunsu, which has the special message for you. They're helping tech companies create kick-ass products. Yeah, I saw, well, when, and this is what I saw over there. I'm just like, whoa, that, that's cool. That this is cool packaging. Yeah, like that's a cool thing to put on there. This Why is actually some you? of the nicest packaging I've seen for electronic on components. I'm, I'm kind of jealous. I'm thinking, I was thinking of showing this to you also because this could be like inspirational because I like, yeah. it's only spot color, but it looks, they did a really nice job. Whoever designed this packaging over at Sunsu, by the way, uh, they, did, they did good. I know, I know what good looking packaging that's easy to use and affordable looks like, and this is it. Yeah. Um, so beyond that, they also make great uh, foot switches. All right, that's there all on MPI.